and just so I don't screw something up I'm going to mark it so we want to come straight across there just like so something like that So, we got this here blue square body, and the owner wants to do something with it. You can look at it and see the color is very resemblance of something in particular. And what is it in resemblance of? Golf. That's right. He wants to make this into a golf truck, golf decal, see? So, with that stated, and all that good stuff, let's look at it real close. It's a really nice casting. I mean, I like it really. Really nice. It's an A and AW. Or Auto World. There the hood opens. You know, got the little V8 in there. Tailgate comes down. Really nice. Nice paint job and everything. It's a little darker than the golf paint, I believe. But we're still going to do this. He left it up to me to pick decals. And if you look online, there's hundreds and hundreds of golf decals out there. But these are the ones that I picked. Now I'll show them to you real quick. And then we'll get to putting these on. Ta -da! These are not specifically for this truck, but I picked them for it because I like the way they look and everything. And there might be some trimming and you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, because it's for a different vehicle, of course. But with that stated, I believe we can make these work. I don't know if I'm gonna try to put that up there. If I'm gonna put it on the hood, I think I'm gonna put it on the hood. But yeah, let's let's get these bad boys. Put on and see how it looks. All right, let's get these bad boys trimmed out, and then we'll come back to that here in just a minute. Try these. Can't hardly get my fingers in these bad boys, but we're gonna give them a try. I think these will look really, really good. Like I said, we'll have to make some adjustments to get them to work and fit. But outside of that, I think it's gonna be very sharp. As always, we want to just cut close to the lines to start with. We don't want to try to be exact or cut anything out or anything like that. We just want to kind of keep everything close. Now I'm just going to quickly run up between them. That way we don't have so much we're trying to work with. And then we can modify from there like cutting off that little nib which I don't think we'll be using this section right here anyway from probably from here up because of the angle of the truck and everything because if you see these are more square and this is kind of rounded so I'll probably just have to cut it from that second flame cut that off and put it on there just like so and just let the flames go as they go and do some more trimming like I said this is not made for this particular truck so you know you just have to make stuff work when it's not made for it let's see how that fits as you can see that's gonna fit pretty good around that now we just need to do something with the back it's gonna fit fine down through there but we need to do something with the back and I hate the fact that we're gonna lose those but Unless I raise it up like that, we're going to, and that doesn't look right. It needs to be down low like it was intended. Like that right there. So, alright, so here's what we got. Got that there. And that like that. That ought to work out fairly well. So let's get this big boy put on.
And now, there's that. Look how good that looks. I could have probably brought it up a little bit more, but I just couldn't because of that angle for that fender. But I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that at all. I think it actually turned out pretty good considering what we was having to work with. So, put number two solution on there and go to the other side. And this just makes it fall down in any cracks and crevices and makes the decals lay flat. This is, this is all this does. You just put it on there and leave it alone. It's going to bubble up, do all kind of stuff, but don't fret. When you come back, it'll be flat. Now, where do we want this? I can put it up there. And just let it overlap a little bit, but I don't like that. I mean, it'll fit. Or do we want it there? Hmm. I think we're going to go with it on the hood. So let's get everything prepped. Make sure there's still some fluid in that. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and put it on the hood. I think it'll look better there. Man, that stuff dries quick. Put some water on there. Won't dry that quick. Well, here we go. As you can see, I've got the Golf logo on the hood. That looks really good. And I have these side tampos on too. There's a few other smaller decals that I could put on, like these. But I have learned with these, they're so small and everything. If I really try to, the ink will want to come off of the paper and it won't want to go on right. Because I could put those small, the really small ones right there. And I think that would look pretty good. But all in all, I think it turned out very nice. What do you guys think? I picked these out from a guy that I normally don't use. And they are pretty good. I'm not going to say they're as good as the ones I normally use. But they are pretty dang good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them and everything. I'm going to, I'd use them again by all means. But with that said, I'm going to leave you with that final shot. It's very simple to put decals on. All you've got to do is remember to take your time, trim close. Because even though this stuff will almost make the background paper, the, the clear paper, disappear, you can still see it in certain lighting and everything. But that stuff does help it get into the cracks and whatnot. So, you know, just use your own judgment and go from there. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.